friends, welcome to Hurricanes Camp 2015. Today, the University of Miami had a very inspired, passionate practice on both sides of the ball as the team gets ready for Saturday night's second scrimmage of the fall. Prior to practice, new University of Miami president, Dr. Julio Frank, met the team for the first time. For more, here's University of Miami head coach, Al Golden. Uh, they came out with a purpose today now. I mean, guys were... I thought the defense was physical. I thought the secondary tackled really well. But the offense had urgency. Uh, we were better with our formations. Our tempo was better. Uh, there was a real palpable urgency on this field today. And uh, I, know, I know guys know it's getting close. I mean, you got to make a move right now if you're going to make a move. So uh, you got to just carry that intensity into the scrimmage. The Hurricanes quarterback position is fully stocked. It starts with Brad Kaya, last year's ACC Rookie of the Year. Malik Rogier is a dual threat, running and throwing. Making the position stronger is Vincent Testaverde and freshman Evan Sheriffs. Every day, they all pass the test on making the unit better. There is a competitive go going on f with all the guys, not just not just Brad Malik. You know, we got Vincent uh, Testaverde is really competing his tail off, and, and Evan Sheriffs, all four of those guys are don't like to lose I can tell you that all the quarterbacks we all love each other I mean it's one of those things that like it's competition but at the end of the day like we think of each other as family I mean we spend so much time together between like three or four hours in meetings to just talking outside to just group work so it's, it's, it's great competition throughout the whole quarterback room Kaya is the ultimate team player and worker his decisions are decisive and he throws with authority in his second year Kaya has made the journey from teammate to the commander of the offense you know, I can't commend the, the kid anymore because he's he's really uh, taking it, putting everything on his shoulders to to really be the conductor, uh, not just for the offense but for the team. As a quarterback of any uh, you know offensive team, you have, to, you have to be a leader, and um, you know it was hard my freshman year, but now um, it's gotten a lot more comfortable. It's a credit to my teammates as well because um, at the same time, yeah, I've, I've matured, but they've also matured too in the sense that hey, if, if a leader's talking. They listen, um, and they all, they all get the message, and they're on the same page. Kaya's work ethic is contagious, making those around him better. Rogier, Testaverde, and Sheriffs are following Kaya's lead. They're working hard to be ready when their number is called. That's my challenge to everybody else. You know, do we have a next man mentality? You know, don't tell me, yeah, you can count on me. I want to see it when the twos go in. A year ago, Brad Kaya led the ACC in touchdown passes with 26, and this year he is aiming to take his game to a different level. A reminder now, Sun Life Stadium is all new and spruced up for the Hurricanes, and you can join all the action by getting your tickets now at 1-800-GO-CANES. And you can follow University of Miami Football on Twitter at Canes Football. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time right here on HurricaneSports.com, and Go Canes!